Hi, everyone. Jordan Oliver here with the GGAB podcast. Welcome back to our November edition. We are so excited to announce the new theme for the month here at Global Give a Book, which is technology. Now, it's no coincidence that November is our month where we celebrate Thanksgiving because in our newsletter, which if you did not receive, you can subscribe to that on our website, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, fill out your name and email address, and you will get our monthly newsletter. Now, in that newsletter this month, our reading specialist, Sylvia Hermosillo, wrote about being grateful for technology. And that really hit home with me because I'm one who can not always be so grateful for technology. I have to admit, I'm not a huge techie myself. And so um, I tend to get frustrated with it sometimes or you know, can sometimes look at the negative side of technology. However, her take on technology was encouraging us to be grateful for what it has allowed us to do, especially in this year of 2020, where we have all been experiencing a worldwide pandemic and circumstances that we have never had to live in before. And so with that, it really opened my eyes to the fact that technology has enabled us to stay connected in a time where if we didn't have that, we would have very minimal connection with other people. And so being able to have classes resume for schools through virtual learning is really such a gift. And so I know for all you parents out there, this year has probably been the hardest year you have had to endure, especially if you have young children and have had to homeschool them or get used to this whole virtual learning. And so I can't even imagine how difficult that is. But I just want to give you a, um, I guess, a challenge for the week. And that is to try to think of one thing that you are grateful for involving this technology and how it has um, helped to kind of keep life somewhat normal through a year that has been anything but normal. And so if you have been trying to limit your children's use on technology, I just encourage you to think about it in terms of um, keeping their, their interaction and their communication open with friends and with teachers and with just other people outside of your own home because that is key for any child's development. Social interaction is is number one to a child's development. And so I would encourage you to use technology to allow them to engage in that social social interaction in one way or another, whether it's Skyping or Zooming in with an aunt or uncle or grandparent or a friend, or even just allowing them to read a book on your Kindle. You know, that's a that's a great way too, and especially, uh, I love that one because at Global Give a Book, we are all about fostering the love of reading. So these are just some tips. I just wanted to kind of give this little positive, positive word about maybe switching our perspective of technology and, you know, uh, the way we have to use it in our world today and take this month to be grateful for the way that it has allowed us to carry on as normally as possible and to um, not be completely isolated where we would be if we if we didn't have it. So that's just a, a little challenge for the month. Welcome to technology. It's November, everyone. I cannot believe how fast this year has gone. And I'm going to be back with a few other podcasts this month with some more tips for how to foster the love of reading in your child. Have a great day.